New Blue Effects' solution to credit sequence animation is the title designer's rolling credits feature. Built to address the problems of other major credit sequencing plugins, New Blue's rolling credits gives you the ability to create beautiful, smooth credit rolls without the jitteriness or unfamiliar formatting of other software. In this video, we'll be exploring all the features of New Blue FX's rolling credits by creating a credit sequence from scratch in just a matter of minutes. We'll start with a new title by deleting the default text fields. You'll likely want to set the background to black by selecting View, Background, Black. We also want to give our credits time to scroll, so we'll set the title duration field to 15 seconds. Next, we'll create the text field that will be the basis of our credit crawl by selecting Add Text. We'll select Static Text, as variable text is usually reserved for creating main titles, lower thirds, and other designs where interchangeable text is a common requirement. Enter the first few lines of your credit sequence to give yourself something to start formatting. Make sure to create indentations using the Tab key rather than the spacebar, as this will come in handy later. Once the first few lines have been added, right-click on your text field and select Align to Frame, Center in Frame. Now that our text is roughly in place, we're going to utilize the Title Designer's rich suite of text controls to format our credit crawl. Features such as text justification, kerning, letting, caps controls, and more can be used to achieve the perfect look. You can even highlight subsections of text within your field to independently format different strings of text. Once your text is properly formatted, it's time to enter the Global tab. Navigate to the column with slider and adjust it to your liking. The Title Designer uses your Tab key indents to determine where your columns are located. You may also want to take this opportunity to recenter your text field. Next, click the Rolling Credits box. You won't see an immediate change, but when you press play, you will see the credit roll in action. Your title will scroll at the rate displayed by the speed slider. Currently, the slider indicates that the title will travel across the screen over a course of 5.4 seconds. Decrease the speed and you'll notice that a new time, 10.8 seconds, is displayed. Depending on your machine's processing power, you may detect some slight stuttering when previewing your credit roll in the title designer, but when it comes time to render your video project, the sequence will scroll smoothly. Finally, you can insert graphical elements into your credits by double-clicking the text box to enter edit mode, adding a shape, highlighting it by clicking and dragging, and then selecting a texture from the Style Settings tab. This process will work with images, but it's not possible to do with video files as they will appear as a still frame. You can still add animated objects, including video and graphical elements, to your overall design by creating them separately from the Credit Roll text field. Once your credit sequence has been properly laid out, all that's left is to plug in your credit text. The Rolling Credits feature will animate your credits quickly and smoothly without the jittering or stuttering common among other credit roll plugins, all without the need for keyframing. This concludes the tutorial on Rolling Credits. To learn more about the Title Designer and all of its capabilities, visit the Help section at newbluefx.com today.